Okay, here's a question off a sample SAT exam, and it says this, the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is 5, and, the product, and their product is negative 6, which of the following could be the equation? And here's a list of equations to choose from. Well, the thing that you want to realize is, is that the root of an equation is the same as a solution to the equation. So a root and a solution of a quadratic equation that looks like this are the same thing. We could also ask the same question by asking for the zeros of a quadratic function. You should realize that. That could be the terminology that they use on a test that you take, where a quadratic function looks like this. The zero of this quadratic function is the same as the solution or root of that quadratic equation. In any case, let's suppose that we have two solutions, x1 and x2, and what this says is that their sum is equal to 5, and their product which is, would be what I get when I multiply them, is negative 6. So here I have a system of equations to solve. It's not a linear system, but I can still solve it pretty easily here. I'll uh, solve this for x2. x2 is going to be equal to 5 minus x1. I'll take this expression for x2 and substitute it back in here and get x1 times 5 minus x1 is equal to negative 6. Now I'll multiply here, 5x1 minus x1 squared is equal to negative 6. Okay, it looks quadratic. I'll put it in standard form. I'll put 0 on this side. I'll add positive x1 squared to both sides, so I have x1 squared. I'll subtract 5x1 minus 5x1 minus 6. Okay, so when I do that, here's the equation that I end up with. So I look over here and see it looks like B is going to be the solution. B will be the solution to this problem right here. And by doing it this way, I've just read what's in the problem here, wrote a system of equations that describes this situation, and then fooled around with it until I found an equation that looked like one of these equations here. How else could you do this? You could go through and take each one of these equations and solve them. For instance, I could go to this equation right here and say, hmm, I can solve that by factoring x plus 5 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. That means that I have solutions x equal negative 5 and x equal negative 1. And then you take the information that's in this problem right here and summarize it with a system of equations like this. Then by manipulating the system of equations, we end up with a quadratic equation uh, that matches one of the equations right here in the answer. So really it's a pretty straightforward process right here and a very quick solution to this as long as you know that the roots of a quadratic equation and the solutions to a quadratic equation are the same thing.